Hello my lovely people on this weekend. I hope you're all doing fantastically wherever you are and I want to say thank you for tuning in. I've missed you guys so much. So I'm here with a very heartwarming update for you and this is for my Sussex supporters. So courtesy of the Invictus Games on their Twitter handle they have posted something that just warmed my heart and they say this. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is getting ready for the Netherlands with some Dutch lessons. We look forward to giving him a warm welcome in The Hague as we all prepare for the games. Our thoughts are with Team Ukraine as well as their friends and family. Hashtag Invictus Games. Then they proceed to give us a very sweet clip which I will put in here and I'm just so excited to share this with you. So let's get straight into this. Watch this along with me. One more time, guys, please. You know I need to get this right, and I really want to get it right as well. So, how do I say, good afternoon, you've done a great job in Dutch? Goedemiddag. Jullie hebben het goed gedaan. Goedemiddag. Jullie hebben het goed gedaan. Goedemiddag. Jullie hebben het goed gedaan. Yes. I'll take it. good. And what else? Anything else I need to know? Can you say, stroopwafel? Stroopwafel. I love this. I get double thumbs up from Fenner. I get a slightly bizarre looking face from Yella. Are you, are you a teacher in your spare time? I was before I... Uh... Ah, that's why! What else? What else do I need to know? Scheveningen. 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 Ah, oh, dear. Okay. Scheveningen. Wat well, good. Ah, oh, wat good. Yes, very good. Do you think I'm ready? We think you're ready. Thank you, well. Todd scenes in Ten Hag. And don't forget your hat. Oh uh, yes, don't forget my hat. I got my hat. I got my hat. Oh. <laughs> and the glasses. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You're ready. We're ready. We're ready. And there we have it. What a triumphant unveiling right there. And you can tell that Prince Harry is really good at learning his quick Dutch lesson there. I love the fact that he is just so personable and people like him. He has just such an affability about him and you can see the rapport he has with everyone on that panel. I'm sure there was much more to that but I'm happy for that small teaser and you can tell they're hyped. As we all know the Invictus Games have been postponed and rescheduled as a result of the pandemic over the past couple of years and I think there's a resurgence this year of so much, you know, excitement for what will happen. And of course, we are praying for peace all over the world right now, um, especially with what's happening um, over in Europe. So we are praying for peace and we're praying for this all to happen because, of course, these uh, veterans who are a part of this game, the Invictus Games, they do look forward to this um, and they need this boost. And it is such uh, an event that deserves so much respect. And I, for one, I am so excited and looking forward to this. So how about that triumphant reveal at the end where he stands up, puts on his hat, and as he stands up, we can see he's in full orange, of course, representing the Netherlands. That is their color. And, you know, it was just such a triumphant moment right there. And what a triumph as well the Invictus Games has been. Um, as we know, and here's a quick uh, background on the Invictus Games for those of you who need to know. The Invictus Games is an international sporting event for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women, both serving and veterans. The Games uses the power of sport to inspire recovery, support rehabilitation, and generate a wider understanding and respect for all those who serve their country. The word Invictus means unconquered, chosen as an embodiment of the fighting spirit of the wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and what they can achieve post-injury. And of course, the legacy of Prince Harry has been so intertwined with the founding of Invictus Games, which he did found personally. And the inspiration came from a visit to the Warrior Games in the USA, where he witnessed how sport could really help both psychologically and physically. And the first Invictus Games took place in September 2014 at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London, 
in the United Kingdom and the 2014 Open Ceremony was organized by Harry and attended by the British Prime Minister at that time, David Cameron, and of course members of his family were there as well. And the event also included a recorded message from the First Lady of the United States at the time, Michelle Obama. And the second Games, by the way, was a triumph as well, which opened on 8th May 2016 at the ESPN Wide World of Sport Complex at Walt Disney World near Orlando, Florida in the United States. The Games were organized by Prince Harry and the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, and the former U.S. President George W. Bush and many other dignitaries, U.S. President Barack Obama and the Queen herself also helped make a promotional video for the 2016 event. And of course, we know that one of the high-profile public appearances was when Meghan, whom he was at the time dating, showed up with him in Toronto, Ontario. So the list goes on and on. And just getting back to it, what a legacy this has been for Prince Harry. You know, the Invictus game has really drawn so much inspiration from the competitors around the world and their stories of resilience and determination. And the whole world's eyes will once again be on The Hague in Netherlands on April the 16th of 2022, all the way through the end on Friday, the 22nd of April. We will be looking forward to seeing these great um, men and women just triumphing and inspiring the world as they participate in these games and i am once again saying i'm so excited about this so guys let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section the sussexes this year have started off strong and i think that they have so much more in store and we are praying for them as well so thank you for watching thank you to all of who support my channel a special shout out right now to three supporters of this channel i want to say a special thank you thank you to henrietta Palmer and Bernadine Robinson, as well as TCC Sun. Thank you for supporting this channel through your giving. I appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart. And for those of you who'd like to support my channel, links will be in the pinned comment. Thank you once again for watching. Share your hype for the Invictus Games in the comment section below. I love you all. Thank you to those who like, comment, and share, and those who join in the live chat as well. Thank you. Have a great weekend wherever you are. You are in my heart, and I love you, and I will catch you in the the next one. Have a blessed one.